everyone and I'm continuing on with my project with Art42, the alphabet tiles, the 4x4s. And right now we're working on the letters I, J, K, and L. So I cut up a box. I just got a delivery from Amazon a couple of days ago. So I cut up a box using them as my 4x4 tiles. And what I thought, and I hope this works, but in my head it works. I'm going to go through all my alphas, all kinds chipboard, foamies, just everything. And on each tile, I am going to do a collage. This will be all I's, all J's, all K's, and so on. And then I think I'm going to paint it all a uniform color, and that way it's going to give kind of a dimensional letter. So I'm going to start by sorting through all of these alphas and finding all the I, J, K's, and L's. Okay, this is what I've done so far. So I went through all my alphas and I found different layers. Can you see how they're kind of dimensional? I was trying to get the most dimensional ones I could. So I've got I, J, K, and L. Then I'm going to paint them all and cover them with this acrylic paint. This color is tan. Here I have my plain old beige looking um, tile. But not to fret, I am going to doctor this up. I kind of like my idea and the way it's going. Excuse my nails. Oh my goodness, the nail polish got glue on it and it peeled off. And then I've got all this other stuff off. Oh, I apologize, but you can see the dimension of this. And this is what I had in mind. I wanted it to be raised up. And it's a great way to use alphas. So the next thing we're going to do, oh, and then I've got this little, um, remember the set of letters? I've used it in each one of the tile videos. Um, hang on, I'll get this. So I'm trying to keep the continuity with my eight tiles, even though each tile is sent to a different person. For me, I know that every letter is in here, so I just want to use these ones. And also in here they had some other chipboard embellishment pieces that kind of look like this. Hearts and this phone and so on and so forth. So I found four uniform pieces that were this size. I think they're one inch square. You can see that there was a flower under that, but I painted over it. So, and this is the letter I. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down a little bit. I'm going to use, I think it is brushed corduroy, distressed ink. No, it's gathered twigs. This one right here. And I'm going to use my sponge applicator and ink all around here and that. And then I'm going to take a Martha Stewart metallic bronze. This one is, uh, they look like this. These are great replacement for buffers, like gold buffer and things like that. It just goes way further and you get more bang for your buck. So I'm pretty sure this one is just a bronze color as you can see. Oh, they call it rust, but it's really a true, true bronzy color. So I'm going to um, go through and touch up after I sand and ink with the bronze. So here are my finished 4x4 tiles for alphabet tiles for Art42, the letters I, J, K, and L. I really like how these turned out, and more importantly, I love the process of doing these. First of all, I went through all my alphas, as I mentioned, and just grabbed any dimension, any font, anything, glued them on the cardboard, and it gave that dimension. Then I took that little square piece I was talking about and those alphabets that have been the continuity throughout my tiles, and I chose not to um, make them monochromatic. Although I did ink them with the gathered twigs and I touched it up a tiny bit with that bronze Martha Stewart paint. But for the most part, I left those in whatever color they were. So that's the eye. And I don't know if you can see the metallic there. You can see it there. And here is the J. And each one of these letters are all a little bit different. And so you can see the sheen of the metallic on there. I just love how dimensional they are. See? There's the J. The K. Even the little tiny alphas there, can you see 
how they even got when you put put the um, distress ink gather twigs in the bronze bronze ink it's like embossing sort of a dry emboss because they even came through and then the L so they all turned out awesome even on this one you can see the cardboard the ridges of the cardboard and then on the back I had I have a big pile of this it's old graphic 45 paper and it's called communique collections so I use this on the back of each one of them so you can see here and then I just made a little banner name tag just out of some white paper and then I inked it up with the same the gathered twigs and that uh, rust metallic paint and the same with the corners on these so I did that on all four and Dula Nana is my um, username on Art42 so that people can find you when they um, they give you what's called karma I think I mentioned that before which is feedback saying oh if they really liked something or if they didn't like it or whatever so there are my letters I J K and L this alphabet series is going by so quickly but I am really really pleased with how these turned out. So thanks a lot for watching everybody and if you're interested in these kinds of things head over to our art42 I think it's .com I'm pretty sure it is. I'll put the link in the down bar. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!